As the community spread of the coronavirus begins in Ghana, the National Identification Authority appears defiant going ahead with the Ghana card registration in the eastern region. This is despite the presidential directive against social gatherings in the country. There's more in the following report. On March 15th, Ghana's COVID-19 case count rose to six. Information Minister Kojo Ponkroma announced some measures to check the spread. Nine hours later, in the night, President Ekufuado announced more stringent social distancing protocols. All public gatherings, including conferences, workshops, funerals, festivals, political rallies, sporting events, and religious events such as services in churches and mosques have been suspended for the next four weeks. Private burials are permitted, but with limited numbers, not exceeding 25 in attendance. Many institutions have since shut down schools, public and private, at all levels, from basic to tertiary, shut down. Despite a lack of legislation enforcing the presidential directive, the police in the Ashanti region were the first to crack the whip. They relied on an already existing legislation to arrest and charge a pastor for organizing a service. It was an unlawful assembly, the police said. We are going to ask our patrolmen to go out there. Whichever church is found holding services or any other meetings will be made to face the full rigors of the law. Although churches and mosques were to shut, nightclubs and pubs were only urged to operate with caution. But even these ones have begun shutting down all in the interests of society. But the National Identification Authority is undertaking registration in the eastern region. It appears it may not have heard this directive or is simply refusing to obey. Questions were asked and thus response was provided. All supervising registration offices, SROs, are to ensure using appropriate queue management techniques, including numbering and appointment systems, that no long queues emerge at any registration center. Where queues become unavoidable, the officials should strictly adhere to the maintenance of the two-meter social distance advised by healthcare professionals. The GMA was the first to quickly call out the NIA, warning of massive spread of COVID-19. If we are not lucky and people filter through the net and end up being positive finally, but have already spread the virus around, then the community, the NHIS staff themselves, and the entire nation will be at risk. And this is going to be very safe. Ghana's case count now stands at 16. Shraj and some citizens are worried. And already, a suit has been filed against the NIA. If the NIA's attention to very legitimate directives for all to comply, by the highest personage in this country that we don't need to send mixed messages to our people. If you tell the people, don't go to church, don't bury your people because it will bring about crowds, we should send the same message concerning registration. So in the nutshell, churches shut, mosques shut, pubs shut. Nightclubs shut, but for the NIA, this is the reality. So how soon will the NIA heed calls from various quarters to halt registrations with lives on the line? Well, police in the eastern region is holding a 35-year-old Stephen Tete for firing uh, gunshots at uh, an NIA registration center near Sesawa and also distracting the process, disrupting the process. Stephen Tete entered the Ubei Nyemi registration center wielding a single barrel gun and ordered the NIA officials to halt the exercise and misfiring of shots. DSP Evidence Tete speaks for the eastern region police command. He has been speaking with Joy News. Yesterday, the police in Assessua received information that the 35 year old man, Stephen Tete, went to one of the refugee centers in Assessua area, that is Ubayami Refugee Center in Assessua. Whilst the officers were preparing to set up for the refugee exercise, he 
started firing like a 35-year-old man, Stephen Tete, went to one of the refugee centers in Asesewa area, that is Obayomi refugee center in Asesewa. Whilst the officers were preparing to set up for the refugee exercise, he started firing a gunshot from a single barrel gun and ordered the officers to stop the exercise amidst the firing of the gunshots. When the police received the information, the, the Asawa police quickly moved in and the suspect was apprehended. As we speak now, he is in the custody of the Asawa police. He is being processed and will be arraigned before court today. The charges to be preferred against him are being on premises without, without lawful authority, firing of uh, firearms or possession of firearms without lawful excuse and other charges the other charge include causing fear and panic so we'll be arraigned before court today we hope to have him remanded to continue